Welcome back to Foxtech. Today I'm going to show you how to draw on photos using your iPad. This is a great way to personalize your images, make notes directly on pictures, or just get creative. Drawing on photos is pretty simple and there are more options available now than ever before. First off, let's talk about the tools you'll need. You can draw on photos using either your finger or a stylus, such as the Apple Pencil. In my opinion, the Apple Pencil works the best because of its precision and pressure sensitivity, but using your finger is perfectly fine if you don't have a stylus. One of the most straightforward methods is to use a dedicated drawing app where you can import your photo and edit it by drawing directly on it. For example, Notability is a great app for this. You can easily import your image and use the app's features to draw, highlight, and annotate your photo. There are other apps that work just as well, including the built-in uh, Apple Notes app, which is surprisingly powerful for this purpose. However, in my opinion, the ultimate best method is even simpler. You can take a photo and have it stored in your gallery. From there, you can tap the Edit button, which is usually represented by a pencil icon. This opens up the markup tools, allowing you to draw directly on the photo. This option is fantastic because it doesn't require any additional apps. Once you're done drawing, you can save the image and it's stored in your gallery like any other image. This makes it easy to share or simply keep for reference. One of the best features of using the gallery's markup tool is that you can always revert back to um, the original state of the photo. This means that even if you don't like your drawings, you can easily remove them and get back to the original image without any hassle. It's a very forgiving and user-friendly option. So whether you choose to use a dedicated app like Notability or the built-in markup tools in your gallery, drawing on photos on your iPad is both simple and versatile. Explore these options and find the one that works best for your needs. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Tech C for more tips and tutorials. Until next time, peace.